Eight, count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight public humiliations for Republican leader Kevin McCarthy, courtesy of the Republican rebels in his own caucus. This is the unchanging face of the opposition. 20 members of Congress who have repeatedly said no to making McCarthy the leader of the new Republican majority in the House, putting him a few heartbeats away from the presidency. Let's get over to John King, who has agreed to take a stroll over to the magic wall to tell us just who these 20 men and women are. Jake, we see them on the floor casting their votes. Let's map out and show where they come from and why they might not think, at least most of them, that this might hurt them politically back home, that it is safe for them to defy the leader. First, just set the table. There are 222 House Republicans. That's a net gain of 10 from the election that was just shy of 60 days ago. Democrats, 213 here. The number's actually 212 because Democratic Congressman Don McEachin of Virginia passed away after the election. So Democrats are down uh, to 212. This is the verdict on Election Day. So you mentioned, who are these holdouts? Well, let's take a look. Uh, 21, if you count Congresswoman Sparks of Indiana, who has voted present. She says Kevin McCarthy needs to close the deal. That's her former protest. These others, as you see them, have voted for other candidates. And as you can see, geographically, it's a diverse mix. They are Republicans from all across the country. Here's another way to look at it, though. This is their win margin. If it's deep red, that means they won comfortably. If it's more of a pink, you see one here and one here, that means they were relatively close races. Lauren Boebert stands out among the holdouts in that when she won re-election, Jake, Earlier this month, she just won re-election, 546 votes. So she, you could argue, is taking the biggest political risk here. The voters back in her district just sent her back to Congress. Is she taking a risk? Does she care? That's a question for Congresswoman Boebert. You come back out and you look at the rest of the map, though, most of these Republicans won big. Let's just come down in here, come to Oklahoma. Uh, you have a congressman-elect here, uh, Josh Breachin, right there, 72.4 percent of the vote. So, yes, the country might not like what's happening, the chaos on the floor, he thinks he can go home. He just got 72% of the vote. He thinks he is safe. Let's just move around the country a little bit more, and you can come up to our neighborhood up here. Scott Perry of the Freedom Caucus is one of those who is in a bit of an iffy district, a safe Republican district, but not a blowout Republican district. You see here, he got 54% of the vote in the election 60 days ago. So is this a risk? He has decided it's a risk worth taking, clearly. More of a marginal district, but still a solid Republican district, just not by a blowout margin. You come down to Maryland right here, and you see Andy Harris, again, 54, 55 percent, if you want to round that up in the election there. This is a pretty solid Republican district, uh, not a 60 percent or a 70 percent district, but Andy Harris thinks he can be anti-establishment, anti-leader, anti-institution, a uh, chaos caucus. Pick the term you like there. And that's what is interesting. If you're looking at the map and you pull it out, most of these are safe Republicans. So, yes, they're defying their leadership. They might be embarrassing their party. Uh, they might be embarrassing the institution. They might be ignoring the national will of the American people, Jake. But when they look at the districts back home, I'll just pop another one up here and go to Illinois. Remember, we had Congressman Davis on, former Congressman Davis. He was beaten in the primary by Mary Miller. She had Donald Trump's endorsement. She got 71 percent of the vote in that district. So she is sticking it to the leader, yes. She thinks the people back home will support her. So this is one, one more quick way to look at this. Here's the 21 of them here. If you look at the 21 of them, 16 of them received Donald Trump's endorsement back in their primary. So they got here in part thanks to Donald Trump. Donald Trump wants them to vote Kevin McCarthy, but even to Donald Trump, they are saying no.